Australia, Australia. My name's James Newen, and today we're going to be talking about my work, an Australian national song. The work is a four channel video work. It's not synced, so it's a little bit chaotic. And it's with me and a couple of my musician friends kind of like exploring and deconstructing an Australian national song that was written at the time of Federation. And what we were trying to do is kind of like challenge that idea of what is nationality, what is, what is nationalism, and also what it means to be migrants occupying Aboriginal land. The piece of music was composed by George Marshall Hall, and it was written just before Federation when people were trying to kind of like evoke this sense of nationhood, um, a whole sense of a united Australia. And so I've been working a lot with Australiana and um, collecting Australian items myself around convict histories and around Federation. In a lot of my work, I like to challenge that idea of the migrant victim, where we're constantly repeating ourselves and providing testimony about all our difficult journeys and having to come to Australia. And how I see it, it's almost like akin to the convict story where white Australia also holds really tightly onto this kind of like victim mentality to justify its presence in the colonial state. And so for me, um, as a person with a refugee background, um, I tend to think of our presence in Australia as a new form of colonisation, what I kind of call a neo terra nullius. When new migrants and refugees come to Australia, we're promised a land of milk and honey. We're told that if we just, you know, like go to school and comply and be good migrants, then we just are able to construct and create a new life for ourselves and there's no repercussions about our occupations or, or of the land and there's no real recognition that there was a history that existed before our own arrival. So with the concept of neo terra nullius, it almost recreates that sense of colonial forgetfulness and willful loss of memory, a, a willful erasure of Aboriginal and First Nations histories and stories and the violence of um, initial colonisation and federation that preceded the arrival of refugees and migrants here. When I talk about these things to my parents, I nag, nag, nag and almost irritate them to the point where they get really annoyed with me. And I guess art is almost like that, where art is almost a thorn in people's side. We were able to nag, we're able to um, be a thorn in kind of like these conventional representations of nationhood and nationalism, which I find really quite um, dangerous in, in kind of like emergent kind of like contemporary dialogue and politics. In this work, what I did was I worked with um, professional young musicians, um, Victoria Pham, Roland Zhao, Danica Tran and Amy Zhu to really think about how we as contemporary Australians really latch on to this idea of play, um, really latch on to this idea of being a larrikin, to actually deconstruct and pull apart what is basically a white Australian anthem. That idea of the Australian larrikin who creates like mischief is generally only reserved for white Australia. You know, that idea of, you know, being playful, being jokey, being a little bit of a bully um, is reserved for the dominant class. So in this work, we wanted to become larrikins. We wanted to create mischief and to really challenge that, um, that idea of, you know, the compliant and the well-behaved migrant. And so, what we did was we started to play it in a conventional way. But then as we were playing it, we wanted to kind of like start to break apart kind of like not only the music, but also the physicality of playing the music. To me, I've always liked that 
the, the sound and the sonics of discomfort, you know, like when people scratch their nails down a, a board or when you rub two pieces of polystyrene together. These forms of kind of like uncomfortable sound really does, I guess, symbolise that discomfort that's always ever present when you live on stolen land. When you come to the realisation that, you know, even as newcomers, you're still occupying someone else's home. For me, like this music, which, you know, like is kind of like really weird because it was, you know, made around that, that idea of, you know, a unified Australia around a white Australia. Um, how do Asian bodies start to kind of like occupy and embody that? How do we start to like be uncomfortable with that? How do we challenge ourselves and how we question that in a very embodied, auditory and playful way? Um, it is at the end of the day, the musician's expression that brings that piece of music to life. Um, and, you know, the institution can't really control that.